Women will often tell me that Zach, there's no men out there. There's no masculine men out there. It's impossible to find what I want. Ladies, I'm going to be debunking this myth today because I guarantee you there are many masculine men out there and even though we live in a emasculated, depolarized, gender equal, not in a good way society today, it has never been easier to attract a masculine man. I know that sounds crazy, but stay tuned and I'm going to explain why. Welcome to this channel and this video. I am Zach Grody and I'm here to show you how to create the relationship of your dreams by inspiring a man into cherishing you by becoming the feminine woman that you are meant to be and you can become. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell below so that you get notified about future videos and like this video because it's going to be amazing and you're going to love it. All right, so this myth. The myth is there's no masculine men out there and kind of what's the point of even trying? Men are really emasculated today and I, I can't find anyone who's masculine. So, and, and then of course that myth, a very common myth that women have, a myth that women believe makes them kind of just want to give up, right? Understandably, if you don't think there's any masculine men out there, why even bother putting yourself out there and trying? So to explain, to give an analogy of how incorrect this myth is. Let's take a look at my business. What do I do? I teach women who want to become feminine, who want to learn how to submit to a man, ooh, big trigger word, who want to learn how to be vulnerable, who want to look at their side of the street and be fully accountable, who want a traditional polarized relationship to some extent, whether they're working or not, whatever, some women want to keep working, but traditional in a sense that the man's taking care of the woman and being a man and she's being feminine. I find those people and they become my clients. You might be one of them who will become my client. You might be my client right now. Now, how many of those women are out there as a percentage of the population who are really, really wanting to dive into this work? It's a small percentage, like it's, I would say, way less than 5% of the entire population. Most women are way too much in their masculine, way too much unaccountable for themselves. They want to keep blaming men for their problems. They don't want to see themselves. They've been deeply conditioned by feminism. Even the ones who haven't been conditioned by feminism, this whole polarized dynamic, we call it extreme, like it might look extreme compared to general society, but it's really the natural way of men and women relating to each other. So they they might want something that's more watered down than what Zach Rohde is going to give them. So we're looking at a relatively small percentage of the population that I am speaking to. And yet, I've been able to build a relatively quite successful multi-million dollar business almost entirely organically. How is that possible? Well, it's because I know how to attract the kind of people that I want for my business. That's really important. Now, why am I talking about my business? Because this is an analogy for you and your love life. Okay? If... <laughs> If I didn't know how to attract my audience, if I was scared to speak the truth, if I was inhibited, if I was a people pleaser, if I was all kinds of different things, would I get high paying clients? Probably not. It would be extremely difficult. And then I might think to myself, man, there's no high paying clients out there. There's no women in this niche who are really right for me that have any money. That would be the belief that I would tell myself and it would be completely wrong, okay? And if you have the belief that there's no masculine men out there and, and even that it's hard to find masculine men, then that belief in itself is sabotaging you and it's, it's totally false. Just like this analogy that, I'm, that I've given you, okay? The masculine men are out there. You just need to know how to attract them. And that's the problem today because if you're like the vast majority of women, then you are stuck in certain control patterns that are repelling the men that you want, even before you meet them, but then certainly once you do meet them, and bringing out the worst in them so they don't even present as as masculine as they actually are, 
and then you'll be less attracted to the men that you otherwise might have been attracted to. They'll be less attracted to you. It won't work out with them. And then the ones that you want often won't be finding you in the first place. So it's all about learning how to show up in a way where you're attracting the men who are really masculine. So what percentage of the population of men are relatively quite like healthy masculine? It's less than 5%, for sure. And it's probably even less than that because a lot of the healthy ones are in healthy relationships already. So it's probably much smaller than 5%. Let's just say it's like 1% or 2%. I actually think that that's reasonable. Now, there's more men that are like relatively masculine and relatively healthy. Like they're, they're decent. And like if a woman did a, a good job of becoming more feminine, then she'd be able to attract a decently masculine man. But I'm talking about like quite embodied, like very solid in himself, quite devotional. He's healed the biggest chunk of himself. And so he's done most of his work already, which is what most women would ideally want if if they could get a man like that, right? So we're talking about 1% or 2% of the single male population because most of the men that are like that would have already found their woman. Sounds like finding a needle in a haystack. Oh my God, why even bother trying? No, you need to be that beacon that calls in that man, Okay, there is an analogy out there. I like this one. This is a fun one, uh, very common that a woman is like the flower and the bee, like the man is like the bee. You don't have to do anything really to attract the man. You just have to be a flower. (laughs) You just have to express yourself the way that you naturally would. You just have to be in your radiance, just blossom. For a woman who's stuck in control patterns, that might sound really foreign and conceptual and doesn't make any sense but that's essentially what you have to do and you have to be fully in your self-worth as well we'll talk a little bit about that and the bee's going to find you if you are in a huge field of grass of hay or something and there's only a few flowers guess what that bee's going to find you even though there's all this grass and crap all over cactuses and stuff all over the place the bee is going to find you because the bee is designed to find you it's going to be able to smell you from a mile away, literally. And masculine men are the same way when it comes to feminine women. It's like, if you're not, if you're a blade of grass, like this is what it is, this is, this is fun. If you are presenting as a blade of grass and you're like, where's all the bees? There's no bees here. They're not coming to me. There's just no bees. Well, yeah, because they're there. They're just finding flowers. Okay. <laughs> I just I just came up with that on the spot. I liked it. So it the, the whole thing is you need to learn how to become a flower. Or even maybe a better analogy is like you're an unblossomed flower because every woman, you're not a blade of grass. It's not like you're changing into something else. You're not becoming someone that you're not or something that you're not. You've always been this beautiful flower that smells amazing, that looks amazing, that every bee would want to come and get nectar from you just need to learn how to blossom you need to learn how to show it you need to realize that you are a flower you need to learn how to be a flower okay so that's essentially what i am teaching you to do i'm not going to teach you with a bunch of fluffy vague analogies i teach women by showing them how to communicate differently how to move out of their control patterns, how to let go of control, how to follow a man, how to let go of resistance to a man, how to honor your heart when a man's leading you to do something that doesn't feel good in some kind of way so you don't become a doormat learning how to communal communicate all your feelings vulnerably in a way that instead of a man seen as a burden and and like not liking and being resistant to or dismissing or gaslighting a lot of women have experienced that instead the man's like oh my god i want to take care of your feelings you know tell me why you feel that way oh i'm going to change my behaviors or i'm going to help you with these feelings i'm going to give you a hug i'm going to give you some reassurance i'm going to give you a kiss right you're it's all about shifting the patterns which shift the beliefs now when it comes to Like this video, I'm not going to get too much into that because this is more just about knowing that these men are out there and being able to attract these men. So I'm going to give you, yeah, I'm going to give you two examples, one for women that don't like online dating and then one for women that do like online dating. But essentially, this is a very similar thing that you can apply to relationships as well for any woman who's with a man already, because it's like what you're doing by attracting a man is essentially what you also need to do to inspire a man that you're already with to take care of you. Like all of these 
tools and understandings are interconnected. They're basically all the same. So if you are a single woman and you're walking down the street, how are you going to tend to walk down the street? Probably relatively closed off. You're going to feel like a heart closure and it's to protect yourself because you know if you're fully open, there's probably going to be more men that are coming up to you and talking to you because they can feel it. And look, I've literally gone up and talked to thousands, like tens of thousands of women, literally tens of thousands of women in one of the like coldest, most masculinized cities in the world for women, which is Toronto. And it's cold and it's winter half the time. It, it's not, I don't think it's a great city. I, I prefer warm weather and I prefer warm people. But anyway, I can sense very easily when a woman's heart is open. And when I come across a woman, came across a woman, because I'm married right now, I don't approach women anymore. When I would come across a woman whose heart is fully open, like she's like a tractor beam to me. I would like, I would just turn my head. I'd turn my body and be like, oh my God, I have to talk to her. I literally run back after her and go talk to her and say like, and I tell her she's beautiful or that I had to meet her or whatever and start a conversation. Women who were really closed off. I mean, I forced myself to do it, but I didn't really enjoy it. I was doing it more for practice and to get over fear, but there was no real natural, like, it's like I I can see a woman is physically beauty, uh, beautiful, but I'm not after just that physical beauty. I need to feel the beauty in her heart. I need to feel her softness, her radiance, her vulnerability. And this is something that a woman can express without even saying a word. It's in her energy. So when a woman learns how to operate in the world with her heart fully open like that, then she's going to attract a lot of masculine men. Yes, she might attract more masculine men too. It depends. But that's when the, the, you're only going to really attract masculine men and have them stick around when a woman's able to operate that like that, both single and when she's interacting with him. But of course, if you got a whole bunch of fears, if you got a whole bunch of trauma around the masculine, if you're afraid of being hurt by men, if you're afraid of being seen, if you're afraid of being judged, if you're afraid of being abandoned, if you're afraid that you're too much in some way, if you don't believe that you're worthy of a man's attention, that you're not valuable in some way, that you're just a big burden to him, are you going to be able to just be like, oh, well, Zach said to do this in this video. I guess I'm just fully open now and I'm attracting masculine men. No, it doesn't work that way. If only it did. huh? (laughs) So, and one of the things that we do in our academy program is we help women over time shift that to, to fully open up taking pictures of themselves, communicating vulnerably, sharing their hearts, getting positive reinforcement, positive attention from men, where it's like a safe space where they can fully open up, let go, share their hearts, share their feelings, share everything. Because it's a process. And it's not going to be something that most women are going to be able to snap their fingers and suddenly they're they're fully open in their heart. This takes months, months. For some women, it takes years of dedication. Okay. But that's basically how you're going to be able to find the men that you don't really think are out there in this society, this modern day society anymore. They're all over the place. Okay, they're all over the place. There's lots of bees. There's always bees. It's just sort of like, you know, fun analogy is like all the bees are dying from Monsanto and all the glyphosate and stuff that we spray on crops. But it's like, just like in our modern day society, we eat the glyphosate crops and it's killing the testosterone in men. But... There's still those high testosterone masculine men out there, just like there's still a bunch of bees. There's just less and and you just need to learn how to be that flower. Okay, I'm just, I like these analogies. I did. They just come to me and I play with them. So on that note, I am going to tell you about online dating. Okay, and this is what we show you how to do on our masterclass too. Like for some of you watching this, you might be like, man, I got to work with this guy or at least I got to do a call with him and find out what this is all about because this is resonating for me so strongly. Man, I want to do this. And for others of you, you're like, man, this is really interesting. I'm open to hearing more, but I'm just, I'm not fully sure yet. Well, for those women, hop on our next masterclass. Okay. We got them coming out every single month. We got this one. It's coming out. Like, don't miss it. So you have to wait uh, several weeks for the next one to come out. For those of you who are not ready for that, well, we got our masterclass. Okay. And on our masterclass, we teach you how to attract a masculine man and inspire a masculine man into cherishing you, right? If you're in a relationship already, or once you get into a relationship, we show you how to communicate differently. We show you how to let go of your control patterns. We show you how to 
be the vulnerable woman that you're meant to be. We show you how to move through all of these fears and move into your pain as well, right? We're, and we're helping you shift into different ways of showing up in a way that you become that flower that just naturally, without even trying, attracts the bees, attracts the masculine man. Because that's what feminine energy is. You're not trying to do anything. You're not trying to attract masculine men. It just happens because of who you are, because of your feminine essence. How cool is that? So that's what we're teaching you to do. We role play it for you. We show it. We got a woman who's a student in our program and she'll show you what this feels like and looks like, show you the communication. We'll teach you the communication. We'll show you all about the patterns. It's amazing. You got to go. If you haven't gone, get your butt in our masterclass, okay? That's polaritymasterclass.com. All the links to all my offers, including speaking to me, they are below the video, okay, in the description. All right, so the other way for some women who are gonna be finding a masculine man is online dating, whether that's on Facebook, whether that's on Bumble, whether that's on Tinder, whether it's on OkCupid, doesn't matter. Online dating, I'm only gonna really briefly talk about this. Online dating, you can find a masculine man so easily. like. I, and I teach this fully in, in our academy program, of course, helping women with their profiles. Because here's the thing. It's like women don't know how to speak in a way that a man will actually, the masculine man will be attracted to them. So they attract all the wrong kind of men online because they don't know how to show themselves. It'd be like me doing a video where just like, hey, I'm mowing the lawn. And then I'm wondering why people aren't signing up to my program, my academy program. Well, of course, because I'm doing a video mowing the lawn. It has nothing to do with what would actually attract my kind of clients. It, that, it's just dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Well, that's what women are doing in their profiles. They're doing literally everything wrong. I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm like, <laughs> I just want to help you. Just like it's so, and men too. Like it's not a woman problem. It's a, men are just as bad in a different way. There's nobody knows what they're doing when it comes to marketing themselves. Okay. But it's the same kind of principles. It's all about getting into your heart. It's about being authentically honest, authentically real with yourself, sharing all of you, being vulnerable, wearing your heart on your sleeve, learning how to communicate in a feminine way, and also learning to show your heart in your pictures. It's the same stuff. It's always the same stuff. And it's it's that stuff that's also going to ensure that you keep the masculine man that you find. Right, because it's not just a one-day thing where you you find them. Like you need to embody this. So that's pretty much it. You do that, you're not going to have trouble attracting uh, masculine men. They're going to come to you, and then other women are going to be wondering, "Where's all the masculine men? Why? How did she find this man? She must be so lucky." And it had nothing to do with luck. It's because you did the work. You learned how to communicate. You learned how to shift out of your control patterns. You learned how to live in your heart. You learned how to shift into your feminine self-worth. That's what we're going to teach you on our masterclass. Come out, polaritymasterclass.com, book your spot before it's too late. We're going to give you an amazing time and, and give you so many important lessons about men, about women, about how to make these shifts and solve the problem that's, that's happening for you. We're either going to help you attract a masculine man or we're going to help you inspire a man that you're with into becoming the masculine man that you need. How awesome is that? That's it for this one, polaritymasterclass.com. Go to my description below the video. Check out my links. I'll see you there.